This video demonstrates how to install the micro weather station onto a pole mount, as well as site selection guidelines and how to power on the unit. First, find the ideal location for your MWS. Your weather station and its pole mount should be at least 30 feet away from any nearby structures or trees. The pole should be sturdy enough that it will not cause the MWS to tilt more than 10 degrees off axis, which could affect the station's accuracy. The MWS should also be installed at least six feet off the ground so make sure the pole is tall enough to meet this height. Once you find or install the pole in the ideal location, unpack the MWS pole mount kit. It should include a mounting arm, a mounting bracket, three stainless steel adjustable clamps, four one-inch screws, one quarter-inch screw, and two Allen keys. You will also need a Phillips head screwdriver to complete this process. A step ladder may also be helpful, but it isn't required. Start by positioning the bracket against the pole to ensure a proper fit. Next, thread the steel clamps through the six slots in the back of the bracket. Wrap the clamps around the pole and secure the bracket to the pole with the Phillips head screwdriver. For those using a cable, take the mounting arm Remove the silicone core clip and wrap it around the cable. If you are only using the power and data cable, it should be close to the end with the serial connector, not the USB connector. Now take the other end of the cable and thread it from the open slot toward the back of the arm. Now place the clip back into the slot so that the cable is secured to the mounting arm. Thread the loose end of the cable through the largest hole in the bracket and attach the mounting arm to the bracket using the four 1-inch screws and the large Allen key provided. We recommend hand tightening the four screws first, then finishing with the Allen key. Once the mounting arm is secured to the pole, tilt the mounting plate away from the pole using the smaller of the Allen keys provided. Thread the quarter-inch screw through the top slot in the mounting plate and attach the MWS to the screw by rotating the weather station until it is secure and the two ports are facing the pole. If your MWS includes a visibility sensor and 360-degree camera, they should be positioned as far away from the pole as possible to maximize their efficiency. Once it is in the correct position, secure the MWS to the mounting plate with the smaller Allen key. Now tilt the MWS back into a vertical position and re-secure the mounting plate using the smaller Allen key. Remember to keep your hands on the weather station throughout this process. The antenna on the MWS should be as vertical as possible so use the two joints on the mounting arm to orient your weather station properly. Now it's time to power on the MWS. Begin by connecting the power and data cable into the data port on the left. Flip the power switch into the on position and check the indicator lights underneath the cap. You may need to shield the lights with your hand to get a clear view of the indicators in sunlight. Three lights mean the MWS is fully charged and will begin reporting automatically. Two lights indicate that the MWS is not fully charged, but it will still begin reporting automatically. Zero or one light means that the power is too low and the unit requires solar power or cable charging. Flashing lights indicate a self-check failure and the unit will need to be returned to the manufacturer. To learn more about the NWS and its many innovations, visit www.intellisenseinc.com.